y'all, hey, Nikia Lindsay here back with another video and I have jumped on this soft glam bandwagon train. Um, it's been going around Twitter and Instagram and everything, this whole soft glam, soft glam, soft glam. So I decided to try my hand at soft glam because your girl here is only used to doing bold cut creases, blues, oranges, greens, yellows, purple, pinks, but I toned it down. I think I did this justice. I think it, it came out really pretty. But I jumped on the bandwagon to see if I can execute it. Let me know what you guys think of this video. And if you want to see how your girl got this soft glam look, then keep watching. My brows are the struggle right now, but it is okay. Let me move y'all over real quick. Okay. Um, For my brows, I went ahead and used my... Kat Von D Super Brow Pomade in the shade Walnut, and I've had this forever. Um, and I also use my Benefit, precisely my a brow pencil in the shade number five, which is bomb. To clean up my brows, I went ahead and used my Lancome Tight Idol Ultra Concealer, Camouflage Concealer in the shade 510 Suede C, and I love it because a little bit goes a long way. It's very creamy. It's close to my skin tone, so I can use it on both the top and the bottom. It won't be looking crazy, but to prime my eyes, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way ooh, Concealer in the shade, what shade is this? Toffee. I got some on my hands the shade toffee I'm literally like running all the way out um, but just gonna use this bring it all the way up guys yeah, sorry I had to adjust the lighting cuz the lighting was a little crazy but um I went ahead and blended out the Too Faced Concealer in the shade Toffee and I went ahead and set it with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder in the shade Caramelized Peach which is a very pretty like terracotta type of color. Um, this is a matte powder and it's bombs.com. So Soft Glam has been trending all on Twitter, that's where I first saw it on Twitter. Um, I'm a dramatic makeup type of person, so when it comes to this soft glam thing, I'm working on it. So I was like, let me just dabble in it and um, bring a soft glam look because it's trending right now, so might as well. I'm going to go ahead and first things first, for my transition, I'm going to go ahead and use my Hula Toasted Bronzer. Um, this is a nice deep reddish tone bronzer. It looks like this. I read a tweet that said if you use bronzer to blend out any harsh edges on your face when you're doing soft glam, then you're on the right track because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what we're going to do. I'm just taking this blending brush by NYX and I'm just going to diffuse this into my transition in my crease area, basically. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna put it like right in my inner portion of my eye. Blend it like this. And I'm kinda gonna blend it like I'm going down to contour my nose. So blend it. Oh, so, as you can see, my nose is starting to take like that contour shape, which is really what I want. So I'm gonna stop with the bronzer portion now. Morphe. 3502 palette which is an oldie but a goodie and this is what the palette looks like I dropped the palette in the black broke so don't mind it but I'm gonna go ahead and take this nice dark brown color right here and I'm going to place that in my crease area as well as my outer V
Okay, so this is what I have thus far. I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer and just blend out the edges of that color. Okay, so I kind of want my dark, um, I kind of want my outer V to be a little bit darker. So going back in with the um, 3502 palette, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this grayish color right here. I'm just gonna focus that right on my outer V. So now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of the Anastasia Eye Primer, just a little bit, and I'm going to mix it with my concealer. This is what I got. And I'm just going to mix it like that. I'm not going to cut my crease or anything. I'm just going to put it on my eye so my lid color will pop. So I'm not really cutting. I'm just... Like that. I'm gonna take my finger and just blend it out. Just a little base. Now I am gonna go in to my Morphe 350M palette, which is a bunch of matte shades that look like this one right here. I'm taking that one and I'm just gonna put that all on my lid area. I'm gonna go back in with um, that blending brush and go back into my 3502 palette and take that dark gray and just blend that dark gray into the lid color that I just put down. Back, blend out these edges. So, the eyes is a little complete. I kind of want to shimmer on my eye, but I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to wait. Um, I'm going to go in with eyeliner. Everyone is doing like a brown liner. That's not really what I do in a soft glam or whatever. So, I'm just going to use a regular black liquid eyeliner. This one is by Urban Decay. It is their Perversion Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and just line my eye. And I'm going to do a wing. Because that's just what I do. I'm a wing girl. All right. So that is what we got with the wing. I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna go in, back in with the Morphe 3502 palette and just add like a lighter color on top of my lid color because I want it to pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna pat that on top of my lid. Just to see if it gives me the effect that I want. And it definitely did. It did exactly what I needed to do. It did exactly what I needed to do. It made it lighter. 
because that's the look I want. A light lid, dark crease. This is the eye look that we are going for. I'm going to go off camera and apply my lashes. But to show you what lashes I'm using, I'm using the Sephora Collection Lash Stories in the style Ouch, which looks like this. Very pretty. On the eye, it's very natural. When it's in the case, it looks like. But it's really not. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apply this and then we'll go on to the face. Alright, so what your girl got her lashes on, so we're going to move on to the face. To prime my face, I am using my Dior Face and Body Primer. It is a universal primer. Um, it's good for, I feel like, hold on, you have to shake it. I feel like it's very good for smoothing out the skin. So for me, it's a smoothing primer. Feels really good. It does have a floral scent to it, but that's okay I put it like this go ahead today I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation in the shade 80 CG which stands for 80 cool green this is a nice medium to full coverage foundation um, it's very liquidy but I really enjoy that gives me great coverage looks like this And I'm blending it out with my Real Techniques, um, Real Techniques Instapot brush. <laughs> oh, you're annoying. Alright guys, so this is how my foundation is looking on the skin. Next, I'm going to highlight. And to highlight, I use my NARS. Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chocolate and I'm just going to place it underneath my eye. I don't do too much on my forehead because it's already shining and it's already bright so we don't need all that up there. Sometimes I like to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer as well underneath so I'm gonna let my concealer sit just for a minute just for a minute and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out Alright, so I went ahead and I set my under eye, cupid's bow, all that, everywhere I put the concealer. And I used the Peach Perfect Powder by Too Faced. I'm telling y'all, this powder is bomb.com. So I use this. Now to contour, since this is a nice soft glam look, I'm not going in with like a cream or a liquid. I'm just going straight in with my bronzer to contour. Just to give it like that, that nice soft, soft look. If 
y'all hear the TV in the background, I apologize right now in advance. That is my man back to, like in the living room just watching whatever he watching. I did close the door, so but you know. I'm gonna go in and do my nose contour with my bronzer as well. Very, very soft. But I'm gonna take the brush that I use for my eye and use it for my nose. So you see how I already have that nose contour started from earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and just continue it. Break it down. So you always want your contour to naturally go right in this area so it looks very natural because that's just like the flow of your face. So. I like to bring it down to the tip of my nose. Okay, so I did my bronzer, so I'm just gonna go back in with the Peach Perfect powder and just lightly, lightly dust it right under the contour that I did with the bronze. Next, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eye. I'm not going to do black on my waterline. I'm going to take this Urban Decay pencil in the shade Alkaline, which is like a reddish brown color, I believe. And I'm going to go ahead and just line my waterline with it. And I'm going to go ahead and just take that dark brown shade that I use and smudge it on my lower lash line. Go in and highlight my face and to highlight I am taking the NARS blush in orgasm looks like this and on me it is a very nice highlight but not like a super bright highlight like a nice glow from within type of highlight so I'm looking for a good brush to use I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna go ahead and apply that see it just gives like a nice flush I'm kind of applying it like it is a blush because I just want my highlight to be like right there. Now I'm going to go in with my blush and if you watch my videos you already know. I'm going in with my Berry Adore Blush Trio by Anastasia and I'm literally just going to take the brush and just go like this. take the blush and and spray my face with the Lancome fix it forget it setting spray lips I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sephora um, rouge gel lip liner in the shade molasses which is my favorite dark brown lip liner like favorite I'm going to take N.O.D. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Corset. kind of don't want to leave this matte, but I'm going to add a little gloss. This is just a gloss by Dior. so this is the end of the video let me know what you think like comment and subscribe to my channel 
I think this soft lamb look came out really nice actually. She's cute. She's pretty. This lip. This whole highlight contour. I think I did the soft glam on dark skin very justice. Like, I look good. We look good over here. Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And check out my previous videos. I'll link one right above in the cards. Follow me on all my social media sites because they will be listed down below in the description box. But yeah, she's cute. All right, let me go. I gotta go. But yeah, till next video, y'all. Peace. Oh, wait, that's not the hand I do it with. <laughs> till next one. Peace.